Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Fusion D generation here from year 2013 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you have a problem where radiator fan does not turn off. The radiator fan stays on. What can easily cause that? We're going to talk about that. Where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. When we get a car here at the garage, we try to make at least 200 free repair videos absolutely to you guys. We make a video about every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car doesn't start, you can easily identify what causes that. You can search for engine starter fuse, uh, fuel pump fuse. Let's say that's a problem, you replace it, you're back in the road. It takes less than two minutes to watch the video, guys. So uh, that will be, guys, our mission to make your life easier and to solve your problem. Now, uh, in addition, guys, we have other channels as well. We make two 300 free repair videos on every car we get at the garage, take them completely apart. We do engine uh, work, transmission, body work, engine codes, fuses, anything like that. Now, why we do that? To save you money, guys. So, uh, on this Ford Fusion, there are different years, okay, through, uh, through the uh, different models through the years, from 2013 all the way to 2020. There will be some minor differences about the fuses, so if you uh, notice that we mentioned up to two, three different fuses for the same thing, it could be because uh, it could be a different fuse for a different year, but we are trying to help all of you with that generation Ford Fusion, so let's start on it now. So guys, if radiator fan does not turn off, what can cause that? We first need to check multiple fuses and relays. We will explain how they can cause that. Now, we recommend to check the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box, box location on Ford Fusion because we have many hidden fuse boxes. Today, we need to open the hood. And under the hood on the driver's side, you have that cover that looks like a T. Open it. Underneath is the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so another thing guys before i forget if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for ford fusion or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste your money and time here guys we need to check three relays for the radiator fan most likely bad relay will cause your radiator fan to stay on but it could be other things as well you wonder which ones are those relays. First one is relay 32 that you need to check. Then you need to check relay 38 right here. And relay 39. Now, guys, underneath that fuse box, there is hidden fuses. There is a couple of notches. You press them, you flip it. And on the bottom side of that fuse box, you have hidden fuses like this one. You may need to check up to three different fuses. Now, we recommend to pull these fuses, let the system stay without them for a few minutes to see if it's going to reset it. In some cases, that could be the problem as well. Now, the first fuse that you will need to check is fuse number 59, and the second one is fuse number 60. These are main radiator fan fuses. After that, you need to check fuse number 63 here as well. Other things that can cause radiator fan to stay on could be bad radiator fan control module. If you want to see how to test radiator fan control module, we have videos on our YouTube channels. It could be a, a bad signal wire from the engine computer to the radiator fan. We've seen that happen as well. If the wire is disconnected, broken internally somewhere, it will automatically turn the fan on, that way the car doesn't overheat. It could be bad coolant temperature sensor. If the coolant temperature sensor doesn't work, radiator fan will turn on so the car doesn't overheat. We have multiple videos on our YouTube channels how to test uh, coolant temperature sensor and radiator fan. 
And it could be, guys, disconnected coolant temperature sensor as well. Those are some of the most common things we see at the garage. Now, in one time, we had a bad engine computer that caused the fan to stay on all the time, but that's only one time that happened in our lifetime, guys, practically working in the garage all these years. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.